Hey everybody, this is Steve Krause. I'm coming at you from my office. A slightly different angle with my uh, upside down world map in the background there. Decide sure. Um, well, we're getting we're getting close to the end. We're getting this is the last uh, video I'll be posting, and uh, we we're about ready to wrap up the class. And I wanted to make this video to just talk you through some of the last things that are going on in the class and for you to think about as you're wrapping up the semester for the end of time. Now, underneath here, I have uh, the actual schedule itself that's on the uh, um, uh, winter schedule, winter 2012 schedule, uh, but I want to recap some of this stuff because there's been some slight changes and also because it's right here and I just want to make sure we're all on the same page at the same time. Okay, now, this week, for all practical purposes, is the last week for online participation because on the 23rd is just the last day of class and it's just when stuff is due. So sometime this weekend and, and or on Monday, I'll be posting grades for um, the, the second half of the participation grade for the semester. So what that means is, is that on Monday, the 23rd, you'll have grades for everything except the 444 portfolio and the final version of the content strategy thing. So you'll know participation grade and you'll know social media grade, uh, at least unless you want to revise it. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, so uh, on the 23rd, what's due is any final revisions to the individual contributions to the content strategy work. Um, this is the things that you've been talking about this week. You talked about a couple of weeks ago. And... Um, your final best efforts in the HTML5 exercises. Now, <clears throat> I'll give you some slack on this because, or cut you some slack on this because, as I've said uh, for a while now, it's kind of an experiment on my part that went bad. So, I mean, if you, if everybody doesn't do a perfect job of these things, that's fine. But I do want you to make at least some effort towards that. Okay, so you got to at least try. You got to at least try some of these exercises and, you know, see how it goes. Some of you, I think, have been able to do these better than others. I think that some of you are a little bit more, for lack of a better way of putting it, computer geeky than others. And I think for those of you who've had some programming things before, this is perhaps a more useful exercise than those of you who haven't. But anyways, give that a try. And that's due by Monday, too. All right. Now, the end of time for our class is April 30th at 5 p.m. Michigan time. And what's due then is the individual reflection slash report on the content strategy assignment. And this is basically about a thousand words on your portfolio that summarizes and introduces the work that you did for the con the individual work that you did for the content strategy and that uh, links to the individual contributions that you did for the content strategy. It's, it's, think of it essentially as the introduction piece to the small pieces that you put together for the content strategy assignment. Okay. The other thing that's due is the final version of the English 444 portfolio. And I can see that most of you have, have already started doing things with your portfolio. But remember, you're supposed to set this up so that different assignments are on different pages. You're supposed to use WordPress as a portfolio tool, not as a blogging tool. And we talked about this earlier. But essentially, I want to make sure that you're not posting things just simply as posts, but you're posting things as pages and that you have a certain organization within your site that's pleasing and professional looking and it takes advantage of the things that WordPress can do for you as a presentation tool. Okay, And and hopefully it's something that you can take beyond the class because it seems to me this is, uh, WordPress is a great tool for putting together um, a professional portfolio of things where you would you know, send that link to an employer and, and that kind of thing. The other thing that's due at the end of time, uh, which is April 30th, 5 p.m., um, um, at 5 p.m. Michigan time, April 30th. The other thing that's due at the end of time is any remaining work or revisions uh, for the class. Some of you I've talked with about making various arrangements for extensions, but the other thing is if you decide you want to revise something. So, for example, if you want to revise a social media project, let me know and I will make a deal with you and you can write a revision for it. Uh, but that's all due at April 30th, 5 p.m. Michigan time. Now, <clears throat> let's speak about the end of time just for a second. Uh, at 4.59 on April 30th, um, everything's fine. Uh, the, the, the map is upside down still over there. Um, you know, the lighting is getting okay in my office. Um, birds are singing outside. It's springtime. You know, all that kind of stuff. Everything's fine. Okay. But at 5 p.m. on April 30th, Time itself ceases to exist. We are sucked into a void, a black hole, a nothingness. Ah! 
<laughs> scary, isn't it? Okay, so let me explain what I mean by that. What I'm getting at is, is that um, that's when everything has to be done. That's the absolute deadline. 5 p.m., April 30th, Michigan time. And uh, that's just the deadline for everything in the class. So if you were to say to me, Steve, is there any way I can turn something in on May 1st? I would say, what do you mean? There is no May 1st. Okay, so for all practical purposes, that's it. That's the absolute deadline because all things must come to an end, including this semester. Okay, I think that's about it for now. If you've got any questions or comments or whatever, by all means, ask and, and just comment you know, below here. Um, and if you, like I said, if you want to talk about revisions or if you're still running in trouble with work, the HTML5 stuff, uh, shoot me an email. I'll do what I can to help. All right, I'll see you online.